Welcome to the Quick Start Tutorial Series for RhinoCam 2016, brought to you by Mechsoft. Today we'll be demonstrating the Art Module. Before we begin, let's talk a bit about the RhinoCam display. When you run RhinoCam for the very first time, your screen may look like this. These windows on the left belong to plug-in modules that are currently loaded. For now, let's close them all. Now, let's begin by launching the RhinoCam Art Module. From the Rhino main menu bar, you will see the RhinoCam 2016 menu item. Drop down the menu and pick Art to load the Art Module. Docked on the left, you will see the Art Browser. You can resize the width of the browser, making sure that all of the command icons and menus are easily accessible. RhinoCam's Art Module, also referred to as RhinoArt, is used to convert artwork into geometry, suitable for machining or 3D printing. You can create 3D reliefs and wireframe geometry from various picture file formats and a variety of bitmaps and operations to create different shapes. Now, let's load the part model for this tutorial. From the Rhino Standard Toolbar, select the File Open Folder icon. Locate the RhinoCam Quick Start folder shown here. Then, select the RhinoCam part file named Art Quick Start Tutorial and then pick Open. Then, from the View Toolbar, select the Perspective View icon. We will perform the following basic steps to create relief shapes. First, we will create the project workspace. Then, we will use the Create Sweep operation. And after that, we will use the Create Puffed operation. Then, the Create 3D Relief operation. And then finally, we will export the part as meshes to use as CAD geometry. The first step in creating reliefs is to define the project workspace. This can be thought of as a canvas upon which we'll be creating our 3D model. From the Art Browser, select the 3D Relief Operations tab and then pick the Create Project icon to display the dialog. Under Extents, set the length to 4 and the width to 10. In the future, you can also select the Pick Origin and Extents button to select two diagonal points to define the project workspace. Under Resolution Settings, set the dots per inch to 150. Or you can set Resolution Settings to Fine to achieve the same value. Now pick Generate. The Project Workspace icon now appears under the Projects folder in the Art Browser. The default name is Project 1, but you can change that if you like. Just right-click on it and select Rename from the menu. The Project Workspace will also be displayed in the Graphics window as shown here. Our first operation will create a swept volume. The Create Sweep operation allows you to sweep a cross-section shape along a selected rail curve to generate a swept volume. This function is typically used to create borders, highlights, and even 3D text shapes. Now, select the Create Swept Volume icon from the 3D Relief Operations toolbar to display the dialog. Under the Create Swept Volume tab, select the cross-section shape to be Convex Arc from the toolbar at the top. Set the Type to Add, and under Cross-Section, set the Scale to 1. Then we'll set the X coordinate for the arc radius by dragging the point on the arc in the Sweep Operation dialog box. Also check the box for Fill Insides if Closed. Now select the Relief Curves tab and then pick the Select Border Curves button. The dialog will minimize to allow you to select geometry. Select the outer ellipse and then right click or press Enter. The dialog will reappear and display the name of the curve we just selected in the list box. Now we pick Generate. A sweep operation icon is added to the Art Browser project tree as shown. 
the result of the sweep operation will also be displayed in the graphics window. Our next operation will be to create a pup volume. The create pup operation allows you to select one or more border curves and puff up the insides using a shape function that can be selected from a predefined list. The shape of the puff can be further affected by selecting detail curves inside the border curves. Let's have a look. Select the sweep operation we just created. Then select the Create Puffed Volume icon from the 3D Relief Operations toolbar to display the dialog. Then select the Sphere icon from the toolbar. Now set the Type to Add and the Max Puffing Height to 0.5. Select the point on the arc and modify the puff cross section. Under Smoothing, make sure the box is checked and then set the smoothing scale to 6. You can use the slider, the up or down arrows, or simply enter the value. Next, select the Relief Curves tab. This tab contains two sub-tabs named Border Curves and Detail Curves. Select the default border curve from the previous operation and then pick the Remove Active button. Now, Pick the Select Border Curves button. The dialog will minimize and allow you to select geometry. Now we'll select the border profile of our relief geometry. Right click or press Enter and the Create Puff Operation dialog will reappear. Next, select the Detail Curves tab and pick the Select Detail Curves button. Again, the dialog will minimize to allow you to select geometry. Now, while pressing the left mouse button, drag a selection window around the detail curves. If the selection window captures unwanted curves, as we've done here, you can exclude them by pressing the control key and then selecting the curves you want to exclude. When the detail curves are selected, right click or press enter to complete the selection. Note that selecting a curve from the list also highlights it in the graphics window. Alternatively, you can select one or more curves listed in the dialog and then pick the Remove Active button to remove them from the list. Now, with our detail curves selected, we can pick the Generate button. The puff operation is generated and added to the project tree in the Art Browser. In this next step, we will create a 3D relief operation from a color bitmap image. This is useful in creating 3D geometry from hard to model images such as texture maps. Select the puff operation that we just created. From the 3D relief operations toolbar, select the Create 3D Relief icon and the file browser will display. Now, select the texture.jpg bitmap image file located in the Quick Start folder and then pick Open and the 3D Relief Operation dialog will display. Note that the original image is displayed on the left and the resulting grayscale image preview is on the right. First, we'll change the operation type to Add and then check the box to Invert Black and White. Then, on the Image Edits tab, make sure Filter Off is selected. This will update the grayscale image preview on the right. Now, select the Parameter Edits tab and uncheck Use Image Size. And then also uncheck Maintain Aspect Ratio. We will also change the Width W to 10 and the height H to 4 to scale the image to our project size. In the future, you can also select the Pick button. This allows you to select two diagonal points to define the relief width and height. Next, we'll change the relief height R to 0.025. This means that the white pixels on the grayscale image will be assigned a height value of 0.025 and black pixels will be assigned a height value of 0. All other grayscale values will be assigned a height between these two values. 
Now, under Smoothing, we'll type in a value of 12. You can also use the slider or up or down arrows to set this value. Smoothing is performed to remove any abrupt changes in height from pixelation in the graphics file. Now select the Relief Curves tab. Border curves are used to restrict relief geometry within the extents of the selected curves. Select the default border curve from the previous operation and then pick the Remove Active button. Now pick the Select Border Curves button. The dialog will minimize to allow us to select border curves. For the border, select the outer elliptical curve and then right click or press Enter and the dialog displays once again. Finally, we pick Generate to create the relief operation and append it to the project tree in the Art Browser. Selecting an operation from the project tree will display it in the graphics window. To see all three operations we created together, select Project 1 from the project tree. We can now export the project as a 3D mesh to be used within the CAD design system. Select Project 1 and then from the 3D Relief Operations tab, select Export as Meshes to CAD. Note that you must export the 3D Relief Operations before the geometry can be used within the CAD system. Once the export is completed, select the Projects folder at the top of the Projects tree to see only the CAD mesh geometry in the Graphics window. This completes the Quick Start tutorial for the RhinoCam 2016 Art Module. For further assistance, you can visit the online help supplied with the program or visit www.mechsoft.com for additional tutorials. Thank you.